Hi, my name is David Couch, a student at Davidson High School, and this is MCPSS On The Move, the show that brings you the latest happenings around the Mobile County school system. Five of our Mobile County's public schools were recently named the top schools in the state of Alabama by U.S. News and World Report magazine. The best elementary in Alabama was Council Traditional and Clark Shaw School of Math, Science, and Technology, was named the best middle school, Mert School of Math, Science, and Technology, Old Shell Road School of Creative and Performing Arts, and Phillips Preparatory School were additionally ranked among the best statewide schools. Congratulations to our MCPSS schools. Here's a look at what's happening, socially speaking, in our schools. On Twitter, at Baker Academies, Ms. Rowell's engineering students had to create a structure using only 24 pieces of standard copy paper that can hold a five pound weight and withstand a simulated earthquake. On Facebook, the Environmental Studies Center celebrates the retirement of its longtime mascot, Jasper the Great Horned Owl. Pay a visit out to center for a last glimpse of his greatness. On Instagram, at Faulkner CTC Health Science students get hands-on training in, uh, in labs by practicing motion exercises on shoulders and elbows. Be sure to follow these social media accounts at MCPSS Tech for more. Finally, we want to spotlight how we're using tech at Davidson High School. Our student reporter gives us a special report. So how we start is with it, we are given a time of six to eight weeks to design the robot and get it finished. The first like half or so we spend designing it in SOLIDWORKS, which is a CAD program, computer-aided drafting. Whenever we are designing it, we draw it up and then we see if the tolerances are right. We see if pieces fit together and if any things are overlapping. Like obviously if two pieces are like in the model are like overlapping, that can't exist in real life. So we see how it fits together. If we have space for it, these were combined by a cube limit that's 24 inch by 24 inch by 24 inch. So we also have to see if it fits in there and if it fits within our weight limit of 24 pounds. We do all that in SOLIDWORKS first. Then we send it to the CNC machine, which is computer numeric control. What it does is it has a, spin, a spiral bit that spins around in a router. The machine moves it around in, in whatever shape you do. And that is how we do use technology for our robots. Thank you for joining MCPSS on the move. We'll see you next time.